Hey guys, welcome back for some more fall decorating. Today we're going to be working in my kitchen and I wanted to share how you can transform your kitchen countertops and add in some fall accents without overwhelming the space. We're also going to be setting up our coffee station finally. And I also wanted to share a little fall tablescape with you. It's super quick and easy, but before we get to all of that, I first needed to wash this cake stand that I recently found at Home Goods. I have been on the hunt for a while now looking for the perfect cake stand to add into my kitchen, especially in the fall season. I love to bake with my daughters. We make banana bread muffins all the time and orange cranberry muffins and different pastries and scones. And we have quite a few new fall pastry recipes on our fall bucket list. So I wanted a cake stand to be able to display them and add in a piece of functional decor for the season. Season. So I'm actually going to be putting this in the little corner of our countertop where our coffee maker used to be And so I need to remove the coffee maker and everything for the coffee station that was set up here Because we are going to be moving it a little later on in this video This cake stand nestled perfectly into the corner and takes up way less space than our coffee maker did. And I just love the way that it looks with the wooden base and the marble pedestal and then the glass cloche on top. It displays our baked goods very nicely without taking too much space off of our countertop. And I feel like it pulls in a lot of the other materials that you see in my kitchen and kind of makes them make sense. It looks very high-end and designer to me, and it was only $16.99 at my local home goods. I haven't seen a link for it online yet, so if you're interested, I would definitely check your local store and see if they have one. But right next to that, I'm just going to add in my wooden cookbook stand and one of my favorite cookbooks, and then this this gorgeous lamp from Target that I am absolutely obsessed with. Over in this other corner on the side of my stovetop, I wanted to create a functional little grouping of items that I use all the time. So I have this small charcuterie board to cover the outlet, and then this $4 fall clearance arrangement from Target that I found two years ago, and I'm just now taking the sticker off of it, but I'm gonna put that in the corner there to warm up that space. And then add in my olive oil and vinegar cruets and my salt and pepper stacker, and I, love this little space. It's so functional. I use these things all of the time, but it's just the perfect touches of fall and I feel like the colors are very warm and comforting and just perfect for this area. I also wanted to point out that I know that it's a trend to put a cutting board or a cookbook or something like that underneath of a grouping of decor and when you're working in a larger area, I feel like that is absolutely needed to ground it all together and make it make sense. But in a smaller area, like this don't feel obligated to add that in I did try this with a cutting board underneath and it just felt a little too busy so having this grouping here just like it is was absolutely perfect it didn't need anything extra but this is how that back wall turned out and now I'm going to move on to my kitchen sink and I'm going to keep it just as simple over here I'm first going to remove everything that was there previously and just wipe it down because it needed to be cleaned in general but then I didn't want to overwhelm this space because we do dishes here all the time and too much decor here can get in the way or food can spatter on it and it gets dirty so I decided to just add in this small glass pumpkin canister that I found at Hobby Lobby this year for only three dollars it complements the ones from the Target Bullseye Playground that released last year very nicely it's about half a size smaller than that and I'm going to put our dishwasher tabs inside of it. I think that I might DIY this to be like an amber glass pumpkin, the same as I did the vase in my fall decor DIYs, just to conceal that bright neon blue color of the dishwasher tabs. So maybe I'll do that pretty soon here coming up and share that with you either in Instagram or in a YouTube community post. But then on the other side, I'm just going to add in this olive 
tabletop arrangement and throw a little dish towel over the sink and call it a day. I feel like those were the perfect fall touches to complement that space without overwhelming it. And now we're going to move on to this last area of my countertops down at the very end of them. I previously had that amber glass vase that I DIY'd there and I love that vase but I wanted to use it somewhere else. So I'm just going to remove everything and then replace it with this black vase that I found at Home Goods recently and keep those same olive stems. And then I'm going to put a smaller piece of artwork there. I actually found this as part of the Hobby Lobby spring sale for only $4.99, but the colors and tones in it are very warm and fall to me, so I thought that it worked perfectly. And then I'm going to add in that glass pumpkin canister with the dried orange slices that I also DIY'd, and I love this little grouping of decor. I moved the produce basket down to the other corner there next to the cake stand, and I think that it's the perfect complement for that area. And now we're going to move on to setting up our new coffee station. My husband and I drink coffee every single day, so having our coffee maker out and accessible is a requirement I guess in our kitchen but it was taking up a lot more space than was comfortable on our actual countertops so we recently picked up this little cabinet that we thought would work perfectly and I'm just going to set up our coffee maker and our milk frother and our mug tree and the little basket that we use for all of our Nespresso pods and then I'm going to add in that amber glass vase here for the perfect touch of fall and add in some baby's breath stems that I got at Hobby lobby a few years ago and also some wildflower stems that are also from Hobby Lobby and I felt like they just made the perfect warm fall toned floral arrangement here and complemented this space nicely without getting in the way or preventing it from functioning. Now moving on to our fall tablescape, I first wanted to give you an overview of what our dining area looks like. It's just off to the side of the kitchen and it's a pretty small space in general and a small table. It's about four feet in diameter for size reference and it only seats up to four people. So there's not a lot of room for a super elaborate tablescape, but I just wanted to share my ideas with you for how you could create a little festive space here without overwhelming it and still keeping it functional in case you are also working with a small table or a small dining area. So I'm going to start by adding in these faux leather chargers that I found at Hobby Lobby. I think they were $5.99 each but then 40% off because they're part of the fall collection. And I'm just going to put our regular plates and bowls that we use all the time on top of them. I love our dishware in general and I love the look of it so I felt like there was no need to go out and buy seasonal plates that I would then have to store away but I did go out and pick up some more formal cloth napkins. They have this dark olive green ticking stripe through them and they're just so gorgeous. They're perfect for fall with that green color, but I feel like they could be used year round, honestly. And I'm just going to lay those over top of the plates as a buffer in between our pasta bowls. I love to make soups, casseroles, and pastas in the fall time, so we use these bowls a lot, and it made sense to have them out on the table. And then in the center of the table, I have this little marble tray. I found it for $12 at Home Goods almost a year ago now and I usually keep our napkin holder and coasters and salt and pepper on it for a little piece of functional decor in the center of the table but I decided to also add in this fall floral arrangement that I've had for a few years now and then putting our napkin holder behind it I found some seasonal napkins that you'll see here in a minute that I'm going to add into there our salt and pepper shakers are wood so they're perfect warm fall tone already and then I just decided to swap out our coasters with some wood and slate ones that I had just to give a little bit more visual interest here and not have them be quite as matchy-matchy with 
with the salt and pepper shakers and you can see those fall plaid striped napkins in the background they are so pretty they were only three dollars at target but that was everything i was going to do for this tablescape so we can still use our table but it looks so pretty and it complements the rest of the kitchen very nicely in my opinion i'm really happy with how it turned out and then all of my countertop decor and our new coffee station it's just the perfect fall touches in this space without overwhelming it or preventing me from being able to access the things I need to in my kitchen and use it for what it's intended for. But I hope that you all enjoyed this video and that you got a ton of kitchen decorating ideas and maybe a small space tablescape idea if you are looking to do that in your fall decorating. If you did enjoy, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks so much for choosing to spend your time here with me today and and I'll see you all in the next one.